Welcome back to Video Astro and Astrology. Today we have with us Pavati Ji. Pavati Ji, welcome. I'm sure our viewers have missed you. It's been a long time and I hope you are keeping well. Thank you, Shikadi. It's a great pleasure to be back on your channel after almost two years. <laughs> And yeah, uh, excited to record with you today again. Yes, your sessions are always very exciting and knowledge giving. I hope this session also turns out to be one of the best ones. And it's an interesting topic that you have picked up profession. Best suited to a boss. That's a wonderful topic. Yeah, so thank you once again. Uh, so today we will discuss profession, but just using your date of birth. So many times you will see people will want to know their profession using astrology. But sometimes you will see, you know, they don't have an accurate time of birth. <clears throat> or, you know, they think they have a right birth time, but they don't actually. So they will be, you know, like wondering, okay, what is wrong? You know, I have gone to like 15, 20 astrologers. Nobody has been able to predict my profession properly. So why is it? What can I do? Well, then I tell them, okay, you, you are not sure of your time, but at least you are sure of the day, month and year. So they are like, yeah, yeah, we, we know we were born on this day, you know, but we don't know the exact time of birth. So today I uh, will... Uh, put some examples uh, of famous personalities whose date of birth alone uh, reveals a lot of secrets about uh, that person's profession. And these are very obvious examples. And uh, you can use this for any normal person. Okay. Uh, but what is important is uh, you, you may not just use this. So how you can go with this is you can use whatever I am saying in today's presentation. And on top of that, you can use astrology. Okay, so you don't have to like, you know, think, okay, only this or only astrology. You can use both. So if you have, if you are sure you have an accurate time of birth, then you, you can also use this. You don't have to discard this. And on top of that, it's like uh, the cake and the icing on that. You can use both. Okay, so, uh, so. You can do both the approaches, okay? But just in case you don't have your time and you are not sure, then you can use this alone and you can you can understand a person's nature. So uh, this will help you to actually know uh, what a person is, what the person's strengths, weaknesses are, where the person can do good, what are some of the strengths and what, uh, yeah, also could be some of the weaknesses. <laughs> but in general, what are some of the strengths and uh, what are some talents which a person has, all right? So, I will... Numerology is always interesting. I've seen how the numerologists use it. And... Um, yeah. Yes. So, I will... Let's begin this session. Yeah, I will share the screen. All right. Okay, so, can you see the screen? Yes, Okay, great. So I I was wondering, should I make some uh, very lengthy presentation? Then I thought, let's make a one one slide presentation, <laughs> and uh, let's do it live. Okay. <laughs> so first, what we do is we uh, we take the date of birth of a person, then we try to see which numbers are there in the date of birth. And then we try to make a collection out of all the numbers. And then we will see which are the numbers that we get in the collection. Collection is simply the collection of all the numbers that is there in the date of birth. So let's start with uh, Amitabh Bachchan, the king of Bollywood. <laughs> okay, so if, if we do the collection, what happens? So we can see here. Uh, the his date of birth is 11th of October 1942. So now we can see uh, the number one is appearing a uh, two quite number of okay. yeah. But when we do this calculation for collections, we will not take the first two digits of the year. So okay. 
So we will not write 1 and 9 and we will not count uh, the 1 present here. So what we do is we will write uh, this 11 and 10. So we see 1 is there 3 times. You can see this. Then uh, we have this 4 and 2, 1942. So we write 4 and we write 2. Or let's write it in ascending order. Yes. All right. This is great. Now what we also do is we will write the basic number, which is uh, the addition of the day itself. So 11 makes up to 2. And already there is a 2, so we will write 2 another time. And now what we do is, we will add uh, the entire date of birth, okay. So if you add this, uh, this will come to 1. So we'll write another 1 here, alright. So, so that means these are, this is, this is the collection. And when we are uh, adding the destiny number, we will also include this 1 and 9. So destiny number will be the sum of the entire DOB and not just, you know, uh, excluding the two digits, the whole DOB we sum up and we write it. So now, we come to this uh, this collection. So basically, Amitabh Bachchan ji has just three numbers in his date of birth. He has the number one, he has the number two, he has the number four. Okay. So, now, if suppose, hypothetically, in the 1965, <laughs> Suppose uh, I was the astrologer that time and he would come to me and ask, what should I do in my profession? <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, you have a good date of birth, blah, blah, blah. You can do this, you can do that, you know. <laughs> so he has the number one. So the number one is the number of politics. It is the number of some administrative work, right? It can show a lot of name and fame in, in his life because his destiny number is one. So that can show he's extremely famous. Uh, but then he also has the number two. So number two is the number of number two and number six. These two numbers, uh, number two is for the moon and number six is for uh, Venus. So we know what moon and Venus represents. They show popularity, you know, showbiz, stardom, and yeah, people liking you for no reason. Yeah. Okay, so it the moon shows, you know, the masses and Venus, as we know, is the character for attraction and, you know, uh, stardom, showbiz, and all this. And he also has the number four. Four is the number of, like, uh, it could be IT or, you know, some kind of uh, thing related to TV or media. You know, it's the number of Rao, basically. So, if uh, this person would have come to somebody and asked, then using this system, I would have said that either you should try to go into showbiz or maybe something to do with IT and TV and all this. And... Because you also have the number one and your destiny number is one. So, you should try to go into politics. So, now if you see Amitabh Bachchan's life. What is his life? You know, like surrounding around. So, he tried to also go into politics. I think he was not successful. But then if you see his Bollywood career, extremely successful. You know, he went also into this uh, Kaun Banega Karolpati, extremely successful, okay. <clears throat> so, if you see his life has been revolving around just these three things. So, he has been like very famous name, fame, power, position. Like, he's known as the undisputable king of Bollywood. Even today, you know, no matter who comes and goes, you know, it's like he's always known as uh, as the main man there, <laughs> So, so just using this DOB, we can say this. Now, as I said, this may not be enough. So, now you know astrology. Now you see his chart. Then you will know, okay, maybe this planet is supporting politics. So, his overall chart now has three directions. Either it's politics or showbiz or something to do with IT. You know, those days there was no IT. So, it would be TV, media and you know, newspaper and all this. So now within 
within these three, which one will be the best for him? So if you see for him, you know, uh, politics uh, and all this was not the best. I mean, he tried, but he was not very successful. But he was extremely successful in the showbiz world. So then you can use astrology on top and you can figure out among the three, which one, where we can narrow down. So then, so there you can use astrology, okay? And so by this system, you will he can you say that why he was not very successful in politics only when numerology or by this system can. of actually you can? can yes actually. because because uh, if you see in numerology what happens the number two. The more the number two, the better it is for your showbiz career. Because the number two is the number of the moon. And if two is present multiple times, I mean, the person is extremely uh, popular. The, I mean, the public is crazy for such people. And they love you for no reason. For, for I mean, if, if you just, you know, stand in front of them, uh, people go crazy sometimes, okay? So... <laughs> He has the number two, two times. So this is a very strong indication. We'll also see another example or many other examples. But if you see the number one, this is present multiple times. Okay. And it's exactly. The number one is a very tricky number. It is the number of name, fame, power, position. But if it is in multiples, it creates problems for you in that area. Okay, so... We will see some other examples for whom one is like extremely beneficial. And if uh, the number one was only present one time for this person, uh, I am very sure he could have been, you know, India's prime minister or somebody, or at least, you know, some cabinet minister or somebody. But that didn't happen, unfortunately. Or fortunately, the ways you say. <laughs> so uh, that is why this is a, the number one if present double, triple, quadruple, then it becomes very tricky. Another example is of uh, Subramaniam Swamiji. So if you see, he has also had a very successful career in politics, but some of his dreams have not manifested. <laughs> and uh, to be India's finance minister, uh, yeah. you know, to be India's prime minister, he has been the kingmaker somehow. So even if you see his date of birth, he has too many ones, okay? So if you have too many ones, then what happens is you can be very famous. Like Amitabh Bachchan is very famous. Subramaniam Swami is very famous. But it creates some problem or the other in some area related to the sun, which is, you know, so either it will take away your fame or it will give you a lot of fame and take away your position. Or it will not give you power or some, some something or the other would happen. Or you may be too egoistic and people may not like you. Okay. <laughs> so now, for him, we saw this kind of created, you know, some problems in his uh, political career and all this. So uh, that is where uh, this kind of, you know, uh, did not give him the best results. But if you see in terms of name, fame, power, position, popularity, because his destiny number is also one, it made him extremely popular. It's like, you know, unparalleled name and fame. Okay. So, now, let us go to another superstar, Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> now, uh, there is a difference between uh, both the Dito Birds, if you see Amitabh Bachchan and Shah Rukh Khan. If you see, Amitabh Bachchan is not exactly known as, you know, the king of romance <laughs> you know why that is <laughs> because I mean of course he was he is uh, a very good uh, superstar for romance he has done a lot of movies but he's not he is an angry man yes exactly <laughs> that is one 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 I suppose so many times and that's why he succeeded <laughs> to which yeah. a fire or sun maybe yeah, I'm just yes. Yeah, so if you see Shah Rukh Khan's date of birth, let's uh, do the calculation. So what does he have? So if you see, uh, he has the number two, then he has the number one two times. So again, it is you know, one two times. 
Uh, then if you see, here's the number five, here's the number six. Seven. Uh, yeah, so. Destiny number. Yeah, destiny number is seven. So if you see his uh, basic number is two, so it will anyways add up to two. So we write it one time. And of course, you add his entire date of birth, then it comes to seven. Now, this is very interesting. If you see, he has very similar numbers. You know, he has the number one, he has the number two. So that means he can also go into politics or uh, administration and all this. But again, one is in multiple times. So may not take in that side. Okay. Now you have number two. Number two again is, you know, popularity and all this. Now you have number five also. Number five is the number of money. So I think he's the richest uh, actor in India, in my knowledge, one of the richest. Yeah, I think he's, he's close to be a billionaire, maybe not now, maybe in some years. Uh, his net worth is very high. But he has the number six. So six is the number of Venus. And uh, we know what Shah Rukh Khan is. is like the king of romance in Bollywood. But he interestingly also has the number seven. And in numerology, uh, if somebody has the number 1 and 7 combined, the person is extremely lucky. The person, lucky. The person is extremely fortunate. We will see the power of this these two numbers, 1 and 7. Now, when I say lucky, I don't mean the person is lazy and not doing anything. Because nowadays I have seen, whenever I tell people, sometimes you are very lucky, people get offended. People say, oh, what do you mean lucky? I mean, I'm just sitting and doing nothing. I'm just reaping benefits of my destiny. I'm not doing anything. No, I have worked hard. And I'm like, yes, you might work hard, but still luck has favored you. So if somebody has, you know, one and seven, then it shows you have immense great karma from the previous lifetimes. And you are, you, you are really fortunate. So this, this means Whatever you do, you know, eventually or the other, you will get success and you will get such opportunities which, yeah, which maybe you would have not got if the number one and seven was not there with you. Of course, this does not mean if you do not have one and seven, you cannot be successful. Like Amitabh Bachchan, he does not have this, but Shah Rukh Khan has it. So it is like a, it's a very big advantage to have this. So along with that, he has the number five. So, so now, if you see uh, the number six and seven, so seven, as you know, is the number of luck and six is the number of luxury and specifically attraction to the opposite sex. So now if someone... Seven is the number four? Seven is uh, showing luck in numerology, like, you know, extra. Yeah, okay. Which planet do you pick seven for? Uh, seven in general is for K2, but uh, in general, like if seven is there multiple times, then only it shows K2. But in general, if it is there only one time, it is very powerful. It is like uh, supreme. We will we'll see the examples, you know. <laughs> and what about five? Five is Mercury. It is purely the number okay. of Mercury. Okay. Yeah. So, so that we are no way what you are using for what? Ah, okay. Yeah. There are so many systems in numerology, no? Yeah. yeah. Oh, the oh. Vamba system. Yes. So one is for the sun. Two is for uh, the moon. And three is for Jupiter. And four is for Rahu, so five is for Mercury, and six is Venus, seven you can say Ketu, eight the dreaded number is for Titan, <laughs> and nine is for Mars. Okay, so so basically now if you see what is going on in in, in his life, so he he's a combination of Moon, Mercury, the Sun is also there, but since it is there double double one, so I I would kind of say okay, it's there, but he's not a man of administration and all this. Right? If you see his personality, I mean, you can't assume he's sitting and you know passing some orders, you know, to somebody. You know, he's not that kind of a person. So if you keep aside the one, you see he has two, five, six, and seven. So basically, he's a very creative person. Two and six. So he, he will be liked by people from all ages, all groups. And specifically, because number six is there, he will be liked by people, uh, I mean, 
the opposite sex and love romance and all this and the number seven is amplifier so seven will amplify all this okay and five of course he will be very good with money he will be very smart he knows from where to earn money and you know, he has a lot of brand deals and products and all this and you know, also needless to say anyways so now we have the example of salman khan so one more question yeah, yeah. sorry no oh. so uh, in the previous amita bachan we added a one one and put two over there another t what if my uh, birth date only the date zero two over your shahrukh khan we don't have to add and put an extra two over no, there no 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 if if it is okay. only for double digit okay. you just add and put uh, the next star yeah is that it Correct. Okay. Now, now, now. Suppose uh, somebody's somebody's date of birth. Let me give you an example. Is twenty second, uh, you know, March nineteen fifty four example. So then we will write the number two two times because it is present two times. Yes, and but then you also added one plus one two and put another two in Amita Bachchan. Yeah, that's what I'm. Because, yeah, correct. That is because when you add, but now here it will be four twenty two comma four. Because two yes. plus two is four, okay. Correct. So what about Shahrukh Khan? Is just having zero two over there. So so not only one. Other two? No, no, only once. Whatever is only one. whatever is the okay. digit we add it. So zero plus two is two. That's it. That's so no. So do we add another two over here? He is already having one two. But no, do we no, add another no, two? Not required. If the so basic... single digits are not added. Right. Yes, yes. That was right. Oh. Sure. Okay. If support okay. is born like on first, second, or till ninth, so we will write it only one time. That one time. That's okay. okay. Yeah. Sorry, huh? No, but this. No, no, bro. <laughs> it's yeah. like you have asked. All right. So now for Salman Khan, you can see if you see what one. is collection. Uh, yes. One. This is interesting. Number one is there one time because we do not write this one and nine. So number one is here one time. Then we have number two. Then we have number two two times. If you see, okay. Yeah. Then we have number five. We have five, six, eight, seven, eight. seven. And I think if you add his uh, date of birth, it again comes to six. So this will be six two times. And, and also nine. Number, that is nine. Okay. Nine. So this is a very interesting date of birth. <laughs> number nine, Mars. <laughs> So this nine is not there for Shahrukh Khan, okay? And he has all the masculine numbers: single one, the sun. You know, he's like uh, very strong, very powerful, very well built, very energetic. Number six, and destiny number six: extreme attraction. I mean, people go crazy. You know, the women go crazy. It's like you know, they they're like, oh, you know, and we know when. Salman Khan is there. What, what what he does, you know, he has this famous thing, you know, where he just, uh... <laughs> yeah. So, so this is because he has the number nine. So this makes him extremely masculine and you know bold, and he's very angry all the time. But there is another thing in his chart. He has the number six two times. Yes. So number six makes you very attractive. And your destiny number is also six. It will make you even more attractive, but it will always give you problems with females. <laughs> and if you see, is like, I mean, he has not had the best relationships, right? So you you can like for any examples. And if six and nine are present together, there could be you know violence. There could be violence in relationships and all this could be. Possibility, oh. <clears throat> and we know he has had some history in you know, like twenty twenty years back. Uh, at least we would, we don't know if they are true or not. And, and also, uh, you see, he was also you know facing some court cases and all this. So, so now if you see, he has the number two two times. So again, extremely attractive. Okay, the number two will give you attraction towards uh, any age group. Not just uh, females or male, okay. And number six is there, so very attractive for females. Number seven, extremely lucky. Again, you see the number one and seven both are present here. 
<laughs> now he has number five, so very good with money, and he also has the number nine. So you could say, uh, suppose this person came to you, what should you do? You could have said, you can go into you know politics, administration, and all this, but maybe his horoscope didn't support, so he didn't go. But if he went, he would have been very famous. And if you see, he has done you know all these roles, you know, police inspector, you know, uh, uh, that uh, he has all this kind of roles where he's exerting his authority. It's like he's very commanding. That that you will not see in, in Shah Rukh Khan. Okay, he'll be more like he's doing something himself, and you know. But Salman Khan is like, no, I am the boss. I will tell you what to do, and I will make you what to do. Uh, may make you war basically. So. And five and seven, so he can go into bodybuilding, gym, and all this. And all this is already there. I mean, that's the interesting thing. Just because you have number one, it does not mean you have to become an IS officer. So if suppose somebody has number one single time, and he comes and asks you, so what should I do? Should I become an IS officer? I said, no. But whatever you do, even if you are a cricketer or film star, you know, if you are a cricketer, you can be a good captain. Like Mahindra Singh Dhoni, he has the number one and seven also. And he's the only Indian captain who has brought two World Cups for India. So, again, this person, very popular, uh, name, fame, attraction. So, this is all his life is. And if you see uh, the next example, very, very interesting. This person has no other numbers. <laughs> one and two. Yeah, just just these two numbers. You, you you can calculate. You know how 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 many times? So two is there. Three times. Three uh, times. Four times. Yes. Uh, actually, four actually four times because his basic is all. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and and if you add his entire date of birth, it will again come to one. Okay. Sure. So now again, like Amitabh Bachchan, he has destiny one and. It is again multiple, so politics and all this is again questionable. But extreme name fame. He was like till Amitabh Bachchan and you know some other superstars. He was he was like the Amitabh Bachchan of those days. We may not. Know. <laughs> yes, and uh, two is there quadruple. I mean, it's like people are crazy. I mean, that they're like we just want to meet this person. We we don't care what's going on, and you know, I mean. He's just the way he is. So, extreme name fame, sun and moon, like extreme popularity. And this person has ruled Bollywood, you know, maybe for 50 years at least, in my opinion. <laughs> maybe more than that. People are still crazy about him. Yes. All the big stars, they will try to copy him, Amita Bach and Shah Whoever it is. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, now we have an example of a female. <laughs> so, again, I think uh, we may not need to make the calculation. Now we can, you know, predict without even making the calculation. So, so if you see Shilpa Shettiji, she has the number 8. And 8 in numerology is the number of Saturn. Saturn shows, you know, uh, something old like you know Ayurveda, yoga, fitness, and all this, but not you know the gym style fitness. It is more like a holistic fitness, and uh, this is something which you will not find in the all the other four examples. They don't have it, but she has. So she was into you know she did some recordings with I think Baba Ramdev, and you know, she was a very big. Uh, I mean, she was a big self. She has yoga recordings and everything. Exactly. So, now this is interesting. She has number 6 and 7 and 5. Just like we saw for Shah Rukh Khan, Salman Khan. So, extremely good with money. Very good businessman. She has a very big restaurant also in Mumbai. I think Bastion or some. Crazy. Yes, absolutely. So, so six, six, very attractive, very charming, but she has eight. So this eight will give her, you know, uh, something interest related to yoga and all this. But now it's not just eight. It's also with six. So it will be yoga, but with camera. <laughs> it will not be yoga in the house. Okay. It will be yoga in front of everybody and, you know, <laughs> With camera and five is there, so it will be a product, it will be sold, it will be CD, cassette, all this. You know. So, all the elements are together. 
Imagine eight was alone, then you know she would be ah, doing some yoga in the hall, and you know that's it. She will tell to her relatives and all. That's it. end of the story. But now it's not like that. Now it is like yoga CD, this CD, exercise, all these things are viral. Okay, but because number five is there, she's a very shrewd businessman, and she knows how to make money. Now, Arishma Kapoor, again, if you see. If you add two and five again, it is seven again seven five six. So two five six seven. These four numbers are repeating for Bollywood stars because two two and six. These two numbers are Moon and Venus, extreme attraction. Seven is luck, and we also have uh, you know six. Uh, we we also have seven. So ex extreme attraction seven exaggerates whatever you have. And she has the number four also. So she could have gone into, you know, IT and all this, you know, that could have been a chance. But maybe because uh, her horoscope didn't support, so she didn't go. But if you talk to her uh, inner circles and, you know, people who know her, they will tell she's very tech seven. Okay. They will they will give you this feedback. Whoever has four will be a bit tech seven, more than normal. Okay. I think uh, the chat GPT, Open AI, the CEO, Sam Altman. If you add his date of birth, his destiny number is four. Eh? See what he has done. Four is Rahu invention and all this. Okay. But uh, she also has four. Amitabh Bachchan also has four. But they have not done any, you know, uh, groundbreaking innovation. Okay. But maybe some something is there in the astrology. But we can still say, you know, it is a possibility. Seven and four. Uh, these two numbers in numerology will make you very good with travel so this is a person who would love to travel always again you have to know her inner circles you know to get this feedback maybe <laughs> now Avita Bachchan is very tech savvy because he was a person like he's a person into NTFs earning so much from there and yeah. so many things like we didn't even know I took him very later on that stage NTF what is NTF oh then I went into it, saw, and then I saw he, he was earning huge oh, from that. Oh, my. And he's very active on social medias and everything. Oh, at least I don't know about Karishma, but he, Amita Bachchan. Yes. Yes, he, he has a superb earnings from NTF, selling his images of movies. Oh, I which he has Which he has taken, I think, that nobody else can use of images as such. I think we are the patent man. Something I thought I think. Okay, okay, that's that's a great tool. Thank you for the yeah. <laughs> and it's such a complex process, and he is doing that. So, but let me is very tech sale. So that I don't know what that true. So that means number four is active or Amitabh. Yeah, yeah, very active. So he may not become yeah. the CEO of OpenAI, but he is active. Yeah, 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 and that's great to know. Thank you. And but there is a question like number seven. You said it uh, uh, expands whatever you have, but K, it's a K two number, no? Uh, it, yeah, so uh, seven. Like K two. Yeah. So that will expand and K two will collapse, like something. Yeah. So seven in numerology is like the classic number of luck. So luck in the sense it will. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you are relating K two to luck. Yeah. So. Okay. If you have 7 and 5, it will enhance your money. If you have 7 and 6, it will enhance your attraction, beauty, luxury. So, whoever has 6 and Got it. So, suppose you go to somebody who is born on 6th of July or 7th June, something like this. You go to their house, the kind of luxury items you will find, you will not find anywhere else. My son is a 6 and 7. <laughs> and because they have seven and six, so six is luxury, seven is luxury. So later on, you go to their home, you know, maybe when they started earning 30s, 40s, 50s, you will see they will have, you know, some products like, you know, some antique items, which is like, hey, how did you get this? Oh, I went to Africa, you know, there I got this. There was a special 
uh, exhibition only on the day I was there and you know I got this and that sorts in my house because luck is favoring them whenever they go somewhere there will be some exhibition or something and it will their house okay <laughs> so now we go to some other examples we go to Manmohan Singh Ji's date of birth so Manmohan Singh Ji if you see uh, he if you add his date of birth it will come to five okay <laughs> and if you see, surprisingly, he does not have the number one. What? Yes, exact. He does not have it. Okay. And he was India's prime minister. And there were these, you know, allegations. You know, he was a super prime minister or somebody. So we will see other examples of, of people who does not have the allegation of having a super boss. <laughs> Like, uh, let's talk of Modiji's example. So, if you see Modiji's chart, uh, but sorry, you will see he has the number one, he has the number seven again, he has the number eight, he has the number nine, and he has the number five. Five is there two times because you add his date of birth, it again comes to five. Well, okay. <clears throat> now, this is another uh, thing. If you see, he has the number one and seven and again extreme luck destiny has favored again <laughs> then he also has a difficult number which is eight so if you see one and eight whenever this combination is there in numerology it is like sun saturn conjunction and and this is not the best uh, number for a politician. Now, of course, this is not like a bad number and it won't stop you from becoming prime minister or president, but it means you will you know, you'll get abused always. Okay. And there can be defamation. So, and we know, you know, in history, like 2002, 3, 2010, 12, you know, like a lot of issues he faced. <laughs> Court case, problems, problems, problems. And uh, yeah, so, but but primarily, if you see his date of birth, he has the number five two times. This is very powerful. Very, very, very powerful. So, if you go by the entire ethos of what he's doing, of course, I mean, this is, again, a very political thing and people may say what you are saying is not true. He has some other objective agenda and all this. I'll keep all this aside. But in general, if you be a neutral observer and you try to analyze his uh, like yesterday was Independence Day. So so if you try to analyze, you know, his speeches in the parliament or, you know, in Independence Day and all this. So <clears throat> his main focus is to make India a $5 trillion economy. Yes. And third largest economy. Why does he always keep saying this? Because he actually feels he needs to earn money for the country. <laughs> Why? Because of number five and destiny, five. if you if you if you add uh, Manmohan Singh Ji's uh, date of birth, it will also come to five. And how is Manmohan Singh Ji known as? He's known as you know finance one of the best, one of the best uh, economic yes. you know, stars. Okay, and and he was also India's fin finance minister. <laughs> so we have all these examples, and if you see. Dr. Sasi Tharoor, very eloquent, very, very, very eloquent. He has the number three, very knowledgeable. Jupiter is extremely knowledgeable. He can talk on any topic, very smart. He has the number five, he has the number nine. Again, very, very expert in finance, but there is one number missing in his uh, date of birth, and that is the number one. <laughs> Just yes. like Manmohan Singh Ji, he also does not have the number one. So guess what? He lost the election to Kharge Ji. <laughs> so that means the conclusion is if somebody wants to become a politician, the number one should be there. Let's... Be there. At least one number one be there. Yes. So now we go to Atal Vihari Vajpayee Ji. If you see, again, he has the number one single time. So, he was the Prime Minister again. <laughs> and if you see, he has this number two many, many times, okay? If you see, 
he has the number two multiple times. So two can make you either a superstar or it can make you a very good poet because you can know how to, you know, emotionally. So a poet and a Bollywood star is not very different. You know, they can bring out your emotions, right? And needless to say, I mean, he was a great poet. <laughs> And if you see, he has the number seven and he has the number four also. And if you have the number four, there can be wars. <laughs> okay, four is the number of wars. So if a prime minister of a country has four, there can be major wars. Okay. If you see Lal. Eight also. Yes, he has the number eight also. Yes. Yes. So, destiny number eight means the person is extremely humble, it's very down to earth, has connection with the masses. But again, one and eight, just like Modi ji has, you, know, you can see both. And both, both, both are from the RSS. And eight is the number of discipline. And you know, RSS has all this discipline and all this and that is there. But he has number four. So, so this means whenever he becomes prime minister, there can be a big war. And we had the Kargil war when he was there. If you see Lal Bahadur Shastriji's example, uh, his date of birth, he also has four in my opinion. Uh, and yes, there was uh, this uh, 65 war which we fought. Okay. And uh, Srimati Indira Gandhiji, she does not have four, but and there are there is something else in her chart because of which there was war and why she also put emergency. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, as I said, uh, we can use this to know what is going on. So, for example, to conclude, if there are numbers like two, six, and seven, the person can go towards showbiz. Very very powerful numbers. If the if the person has one and seven, then the person can go into politics and you know administrative services. If you have the number five repeating, then you can go into finance. And if you have five and seven, you know, you can definitely go into finance because that will enhance your luck and all this, okay? If you have number three, if you have number seven and number nine, three, seven, and nine, you can go towards spirituality. You can go towards, uh, you know, occult sciences. Along with that, if you have eight, that is also brilliant. And if you have Number two, you can also become a psychologist, psychiatry, you know, all this, you know, like you can understand emotions, okay? Uh, and if you have a uh, number like nine, you can also try for armed forces and, you know, bodybuilding and all this. And if you have six, you will take a lot of photos and, you know, you will take selfies. So, so you can, so what we, what I do is whenever somebody comes to me for a consultation, before looking at the chart, I, I do this analysis. So suppose now I see Salman Khan has this. Okay, the person comes with the same date of birth. <laughs> then I see these are the numbers. So now from this I know showbiz, money and uh, politics is a very high possibility. But then now I see his horoscope. I see maybe he has something, you know, or let's say Shah Rukh Khan, for example, he has, you know, five, six, and seven, and two, as I said, two, five, six. <laughs> Showbiz, but astrology has to support. So, guess what? He has Venus in the fifth house. So, that supports. That's a classic yoga for, you know, uh, Bollywood, name, fame, and all this. So, now we can confirm this person will be a Bollywood celebrity or whatever. And there should be other combinations of name, fame, you know, the Lagna, 10th house, 11th house, they, sh they should associate. So when we have all this, so now we know for, for Shah Rukh Khan or for Dilip Kumar, for example, he has one and two. So in his horoscope, I will only focus on two planets, no? sun and moon. Sun and moon. Okay. They, they, That's they, great. They will dictate. Yeah. Amitabh Bachchan, sun, moon and uh, Rahu, they will dictate. Actually, for uh, for the Khan, these two Khans, uh, well, Mercury, Venus, they will dictate. <laughs> okay, so, okay. and for uh, Shashi Tharoor, Manmohan Singh, Narendra Modi, 
who will dictate their Mercury and Jupiter for Sasi Tharu. These two planets will dictate. So we can see that now the thing is, these are date of births only. So on the day Amitabh Bachchan was born, there are so many people born. So many people. Right. Exactly. But, but everybody did not become Amitabh Bachchan. Or I, I don't know even if somebody was even close, right? <laughs> now, Why that happened? Because then there is astrology and there's another science. There is palmistry, you know, something is there. Palms and, you know, in their hand, uh, whatever, you know, the lines and the mouths and all this, which actually made them superstar, you know, like Modiji also, third time prime minister. So, therefore, it is always best that we use numerology and we use astrology and we also combine it with palmistry. But if you don't know palmistry and if you don't know numerology, that's fine. If you only know astrology, that all will also work. And on top of this, you can use this to see the most important planets. So the numbers that are coming here, please do not ignore them in the horoscope. For Amitabh Bachchan, do not ignore Sun, Moon and Rahu. And then, of course, the standard analysis procedures will go through. Like, you know, where is the 10th Lord? What's in the 10th house, 6th house, 11th house? All the standard procedures will still apply. But if you find something like Shah Rukh Khan, Venus in field, then you know now this Venus is very powerful. It is not just a Venus. Because there are thousands of people who have Venus in fifth, maybe millions, but they will not become Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> So that, therefore we have to use all the sciences, the more the better, if you can use palmistry, it's fantastic, but nonetheless, uh, if you know astrology, just use it as you are using and, and keep a note on these planets and your predictions, uh, your accuracy of uh, you know, choice of profession will go up by at least 50%, at least I, I'm, I'm guaranteeing if you use this, because because now you know exactly what is inside this planet. I mean, and now, it is a super easy system. Yeah, very easy. Even the children so, can use it. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, in astrology, there are nine planets. You're like, oh my God, what is going on? You know, Guru is in luck. Uh, Surya is in tenth, and Venus is in fifth. I mean, what the hell is this? This be, will this person be a teacher? A politician or a superstar. <laughs> what thing this person is? But now you come to his date of birth and you see, oh, this person has one and, you know, seven. Oh, maybe then this son in tenth is most powerful. He's in Dikbal. Uh, Guru is also in Dikbal, but this person will not become a teacher. Okay. So, but for Shashi Tharur, you must see Jupiter because uh, he has uh, the number three. And even for Dr. Manmohan Singh, he also has the number three. So for these two persons, you cannot ignore this. And their Jupiter must be in a good dignity also. And that is why they are extremely knowledgeable. Okay, so uh, now for Modiji, you need to check uh, Sun and you need to check Mercury. Mercury, main planet, Mercury, main, main, main planet. And you need to see Mars and Saturn also. Okay. And for Vajpayee, you need to check Sun and Moon. Very powerful. So that's how you can use this. And I hope this makes your uh, journey <laughs> of choosing the profession easier. Okay. That will go from my side. Surely, it's a very s simple system. So, I hope now the astrologer and the astrologer all on my channel use this before opening a chat. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, super duper simple. And okay. one one last thing I'd like to add, you can also use this uh, on your prashna actually. So for example, today as we are recording, uh, it is 16th of August. So, so the number 1 is there, 6 is there and 6 is there. 7. 8 is there. 8 is also there. So, so that means if today somebody comes, the person might be connected to showbiz. Because, you know, 6 and 7 are connected. Yesterday, 5 was there. So maybe it, it, it could have been possible if somebody uh, came to you for a consultation. They could have some questions related to finance. Or maybe a person who books a consultation from you today. Uh, for, for today. They booked it before, but the date is 16. 
then the person may ask, you know, I want to travel to a developed country because number seven shows developed countries. That is a very pressing question for the person. And the person is asking, when will I find the love of my life? Because today is again six. Six is there. Or the person may be asking, you know, when will I get famous or something like that. So on the day of booking the consultation or on the day of the appointment, you can also use this. And it will give you brilliant results. I mean, you can, if you get a mail from your website or your assistant that somebody has booked the reading, for, for me now, I, I already know what this person will ask. <laughs> sure. That's very interesting. Yeah, the, the, the same Prashna thing which everybody does, like yeah. predicting the client before. Before the client opens his mouth, you predict. So you can do the same. And on top of that, suppose today is 16 and somebody in his or her date of birth already has, you know, 6 or 7. Then it is like, see, this person is coming to you for travel and love related matters. <laughs> you don't know it. <laughs> Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank it was a lovely session. Hope we will become more regular on having these sessions. Thank you so much. Yeah, sure, sure. My pleasure. My pleasure. And yes, we we'll also record again for my channel and uh, yeah. excited to hear. <laughs> yes, sure. Okay. Thank we you. We will do watch this session. It's a super easy session. And even the children can do it. I think do subscribe to our channel and Baba Jeets. He has a lovely stuff on his channel. Uh, we'll be giving the links in our description box. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you so much. <laughs>